Hello Walks fans, Rick Tyler here, fishing the River Isle, a uh, venue I've probably fished for about 20 years now and without doubt it's had some real um, effects in my design of the op box. Um, prior to developing the op box I used to come down here, and, and as everyone did, with a seat box and a platform and you need a platform on venues like this if you haven't got a, 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 an op box and an outrigger and the reason for that is the wash from the boats some of these barges can easily create a two, three foot wave. So you've got to lift the box off. You can see here I've got my bag and everything because anything I would have on the bank uh, would wash away. But you appreciate carting all the gear to Holland, having to fit a platform in can be a bit of a nightmare. So the outrigger was developed here and it was a simply a simple solution. Fit a bar into the foot plate that you could fit longer legs on and that really is all you can see I've got fitted here but it makes a massive difference uh, to the fishing. One of the features that I did uh, uh, change when I, when I was fishing uh, here was I found it was mud feet sitting on rocks were not ideal and so that's when I came up with using metal feet and, 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 and putting the pivot of the plate a little higher up so that it could bed into the rock and anchor itself in place because again when the big wash goes by if you just got mud feet sat on the top of rocks it can sometimes move your box and in the old days people used to build rocks around the, uh, the platform to stop that happening. Some other features uh, on the, uh, the up box obviously you can see here I've got the feeder arm set up high it's quite a powerful current so you need to have the rod up in the air and having a feeder arm that you can adjust to any angle uh, you know, makes life easier. You can see here, I have my bag off the, off the uh, bank, so if there's any waves come by, and all I'm doing is I'm using the bait weighter in reverse, which just allows me to put you know, everything to hand. So I don't need, my, I don't need to get off the box for anything uh, once I've started fishing. I've got my bait weighter here all set up, yeah, with my ground bait, so I'm quite comfortable and that allows me to be very efficient and effective uh, when fishing the Isel. Now coming on to efficiency, the fact that I've got my swiveling tray tilted into my knee slightly, it just allows me to fill my feeder up, and, and particularly if I'm chopping worm, I'm chopping my worm right close to myself so I can still keep an eye on the feeder without having to take my eyes because I'm doing it very close and that's just one of those things that just that's just tiny little things like that that just help you become a bit more efficient. In terms of tackling a big river like the Isle, the, the rod I'm using is a Shimano Beastmaster Heavy. I like the Stradic reel, I think it's really this, I've had this reel 20 years now and in terms of the rigs I use a two ounce tip now that's see it sounds light for a river like this but all I'm using that tip for is to tell me when the feeders hit the bottom because the, the bites I'm getting here I'm looking for a drop back bite and in terms of rigs you can see here I've got a very short hook length and I've got my feeder on of a bit of elastic and the reason for that is I'm using it like a bolt rig so the, the fish actually hooks himself against the feeder and then I've got a drop back bite and the fish is on. Yeah, and, and the reason for that is you're fishing big coke can feeders, big heavy weights and striking would be very, very difficult on, on, on heavy weight of water. In terms of hooks, you've got to make sure you've got a hook that's strong, strong carp hook or something like that, and then mask it well with with a worm or forecasters, you know, something like a size 12 hook. You've, there, there are big fish in, in, in these rivers. You've got barbel, you've got high to eight pounds, and anything weak in that, all that happens is your hook's gonna get straightened. In terms of feeding, one of the biggest mistakes people can make when they come and fish a river down here is not to put feed in regularly. My feeder is coming out every two minutes, and I'm putting a lot of particle in. A firm believer if you get particularly hemp so I'll, I'll fill a, a bait tub with a, you know hemp castor sweet corn mix it all up and put in a feeder in that completely and then just plug in the ends 
And then once I've got, you know, an hour of doing that, I might then start putting some chopped worm in. The reason I don't start with chopped worm is I'm a firm believer when these big boats go by, the worm can lift off the bottom and head off down. Whereas if you get a good bank of uh, particle down there, these big boats, when they go by, it's not washing your bait away. Well, there you have it, folks. You've got a good grounding on how to set up the op box on a venue like this. And uh, if you're ever in the North Holland, I certainly recommend fishing the River Isle. There's some amazing fishing to be had here.